Right, okay. Question 24. Ooh. And we've got a lovely little uh, star up here. So, star question. That means that we have to uh, make our working clear. Before we spot anything else, we have to show clear working calculations. Okay, so obvious how we've done it. Uh, and we might have to do uh, an explanation of what's going on. And in fact, it does say that in the last bit. So it gives us a um, formula. M is the square root of S divided by T. And then it says that S is this and T is that. Um, and each one's been rounded to a number of decimal places. Wow, excuse me. So this is all about bounds. And we need to know what the upper or the maximum and the minimum or uh, lower bounds are. And we have to be very careful about how we do this. So considering bounds, work out the value of m to a suitable degree of accuracy, you must show all your working and give a reason for your final answer. Okay, so let's let's crack on with it. So first of all, if s is worth 3.47, that could have a maximum value of 3.47. Five. It's not actually allowed to be that value because obviously that would round the answer up to 3.48 to two decimal places. But this is what we call the upper bound or the maximum. And in the same way, the minimum bound, and it is actually allowed to be this one, is 3.465 because that would round to 3.47. So it's allowed to be this one, but it's not allowed to be that one. But we call that the maximum and the minimum or the upper and lower bound. If we do the same thing for T, 8.1. 3, 2. We know the maximum here. This time it's round to three decimal places. So the maximum is 1, 3, 2, 5. Again, that would round up to 8.133, but we call this the upper bound. And the lower bound, or the minimum, is 8.1315. Now we also just need to think, be a bit careful. We need to consider the maximum and minimum overall. So we need to consider the maximum of M and the minimum of M. Well, if you've got a division, to get the maximum value, to, you need to do the biggest value divided by the smallest value. And in the same way, to get the minimum overall value with a, uh, with a uh, division, that means you want the smallest number on top divided by the biggest number on the bottom. So, oops, put a little blob in. So if we want to find the maximum value of n, so uh, m max, I need to take the square root of s max and divide it by the smallest value, what I might call t min. And for me, that's therefore the square root of 3.475 divided by, oh, I've gone a bit wonky, haven't I? My apologies. Uh, divided by 8.1315. So I've taken the biggest value and I've taken the smallest value. Let me tap that on my calculator using the fraction button. Uh, 3.475 divided by square root of that divided by 8.1315. 315 and I get the answer. Oops. Ooh. It's a bit dodgy, wasn't it? 0 0.229 Okay? Now to get the minimum value, I'm going to do a very similar thing except this time I'm going to try and write in a straight line. But I'm going to choose the smallest value of s on top, and I'm going to choose the biggest value t on the bottom. So for me, that's the square root of 3.465 divided by the biggest value, 8.1325. So again, let's just go and change the values in here. So we've got 6.5 on top, 3.465, and then 3.1325 on the bottom. 
So I've got 0 0.22889090 3839 and we can see this is actually smaller than this value isn't it okay so but this is worth five marks so for the final statement it says um, work out a value of m to a suitable degree of accuracy you must show all your work in a given reason so I'm going to take m to be 0 0.229 to three decimal places uh, as this is as far as the max and minimum values agree. So I've chosen 0 0.229 but I have to have chosen, the reason why I've done that is if I just put out the pink pen here, if I chose to cut off here then both of these will round to 0.229 to three decimal places, as this one will. Oops, 0.23 decimal places. Okay, so don't worry about that. If I if I chose any less, they would agree if I chose any less accurate. But this is the most accurate I can get is three places. If I move it along to four places, it will be this one would give us 0.2292 and this one would give us 2289 and they wouldn't agree anymore so they would be different. So as, as accurate as I can possibly get without the value changing between these two is the three decimal places 0.229.